I'm going to be going to opening balance equity. I could do this two different ways. I could I could just change this transaction, this number to 30,000 and the other side from this deposit form went to opening balance equity or I could make another transaction, basically uh, another deposit form for 5,000, right? And the other side going to opening balance equity. We might be a little skeptical. We could drill down on this form and just change it to 30,000. But maybe we don't want to go back and do that. That might seem a little scary. So maybe instead we add another one of 5,000, which will be on the deposit side of things. Let's do that. So I'm going to go over and this time I'm going to make a deposit as of 1231. And this is going to be for uh, beginning balance, balance, adjust, uh, adjustment for out standing checks let's say and it's going to be a deposit of 5000 and the other side is going to go to opening balance equity so now opening balance equity is going to net out back down to zero so let's go ahead and save that one and if i go back to my balance sheet and run this we adjusted the checking account should be basically back to where it was before and opening balance equity should be back to zero if I look at the detail in my general ledger and run that one, you can see that basically these two things net out in the checking account. We have the 5,000 deposit and then these expenses that are going to check net out against it, leaving us once again to what the beginning balance was, which was 25,000, but providing the detail that we can then check off to see the audit trail in the bank reconciliation and then in opening balance equity, we have a similar uh, kind of activity here. Here's the deposit, and then here's the 4,000 and the 1,000 and the 5,000 here that are netting out against each other. Okay, now let's go back into the first tab, hamburger. Let's go into our transactions again, into the reconcile and close the hamburger. We're gonna reconcile again and then I'm gonna resume the reconciliation process. So now what we have here is I, I have these two that net out against each other. So now I have these two expense forms, which I can check off, boom, boom. And then if I go back to this side, we now have these two that we can check off as things that were on the bank statement that are clearing. That would give us the total checks of 111, uh, uh, 829. So that's going to be the 111829. So now these two numbers tie out and it's just the beginning balance that we're off by the 30,000. Now I'm not going to get into trying to get this beginning balance to be 30,000, but rather just say, I'm going to check these two off as another increase, which is on the deposit side of things. So I'll just basically check these two off and boom, now we're in balance. We have an, an exact a match uh, of the statement balance and the cleared balance. And that's what you want that to be. You want that to be exactly zero. Remember, if that's anything other than zero, even if it's off like by $2, the $2 that it's off by could be a combination of a, like 20 checks and like three deposits or something, which means you're losing the detail that's used to create the other side of the transaction, like the entire income statement. Also note that we have a bunch of stuff here that hasn't been checked off remembering that those are the items that we expect to be outstanding. Those are the, the that might not be wrong. Those are the, the items that we think are gonna be uh, the, the, the difference between the bank balance and our balance. So the next thing we can do, of course, when this is finished is we can finish it. When that's a green zero, we can finish it. When we do that, we'll actually be able to generate the reports. Remembering that this process is important even if you don't know what the reports are doing that because you're reconciling here but the report is the bank reconciliation it's going to provide us the difference between the bank balance and the book balance which of course will be the things that we didn't check off here we'll finish it next time so we'll put us in suspense now and then we'll take a look at the actual reports that will be constructed when we finalize uh next time so for now I am once gonna once again again gonna say once again again gonna save it for later save it for later and then we'll finish it off 
If we jump on over to the trial balance, note that although we entered financial transactions, we didn't actually make any changes to the end numbers because the transactions netted out against each other, those transactions being in the checking account where we adjusted essentially the beginning balances and had an equal and opposite adjustment to the checks that were entered. And then in the opening balance equity, where the other side offset each other as well. So we're back to zero, the starting point there as well. So if your numbers tied out last time, they should still be good this time.